this is JTR back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Cap Cretaceous Gallimimus based off the old 1996 one and the True Darn based off the old video game one. These are very nice figures from Mattel. And I wanted to ask you guys a question. Has your Walmart been stocking Jurassic better than it was? Leave a comment below because these aren't from Walmart obviously, but I went to mine and they were fully stocked on sound strikes and fully stocked on um, massive biters and had two Carnotaurus Toros and for over a year they've had over 40 um, Dino Rivals Velociraptor Echo. And I don't know why they have that but I just wanted to tell you guys that my Walmart had nothing before and it just got completely hit with a bunch of stuff. I just wanted to know if you guys, your guys' Walmarts are starting to come back a little bit. Because for a while, mine didn't even have any Jurassic for over four months. And I just wanted to get your guys' opinion on that. So, let's get to reviewing these. We'll start out with the Trudon. Um, the other ones you can get um, is Trudon, the new Dimorphodon, Gallimimus, and Bumpy. I'm happy they did a re-release of Bumpy. Very nice. And you guys will say, well, that's not a re-release. Well, it kind of is. I think they did the same thing that they did with the Savage Strike Velociraptor Charlie, where they did a repackaging. They didn't do a repackaging, but they just re-released it. Um, so let's get to unboxing this amazing figure. Maybe a little harder than I suspected. And before we get to the amazing figure, guys... I would like to show you guys the little book that it comes with because most people don't really show this and I thought, eh, I haven't showed it recently either. So, just for people, anything that's labeled Camp Cretaceous comes with these little bit of stickers that can go in this little folder. It's like where they're trying to escape the park. Yeah, and um, just kind of cool that they can include something. It'd be nice if it was like a little book showing the dinosaurs, but still, it's more, better than nothing. So if you guys purchase Camp Cretaceous item, you're going to get this. Okay, now, check out this amazing Truidon figure. Ooh, the legs are tight on it, too. Take this out of the background for now. Wow, this just looks amazing. We'll start out with face detail. I've never seen a tail figure just looking so nice. Wow, it's painted just so beautifully. Um, let's open the mouth. There we go. Really nice looking the flap on its neck. Has articulation in its neck has articulation in its arms, legs. I'm going to get into a little bit better position that it's in. I feel like it's in a kind of a weird position right now. There. It's not standing very well. I hope that's not a flaw. There we go. Okay, so let's start out with a few different views, and then we'll get to the paint job. View 1, view 2, view 3, view 4. Okay, next we're going to be moving on to um, the Gallimimus after we're done with this. Looks super, super good. It starts out some pink on the neck, has black on its neck, and then it goes down to its tail. There's a little bit of red on the tail, and it looks very nice. Let's put you in the back, because you look really good. Next, we're moving on to the Gallimimus, and once, as I said again, every Camp Cretaceous product comes with one of those little coloring books. Not coloring books, but it's very, very nice. And let's just get to the Gallimimus, though. This is based off of an old figure from, like, 1996, if I'm hopefully not wrong. Has articulation in its neck, arms, legs as usual, but would start out with face detail. Painted really good for a herbivore on the face. It looks really nice, the old retro color scheme. Yep, and I, my, one of my favorite dinosaurs is Gallimimus. It's just such an amazing dinosaur to me. I don't know why. It's just, 
pops out to me from other dinosaurs. View one. View two. View three. View four. And now let's go to the paint. Starts off blue, then it gets a little bit more orange. Then it goes down the back for a little bit of red, and then it goes back to orange. The underbelly is actually painted white, and I love that they didn't forget that detail, because the old one had that. Well, thank you for watching. This is part two of my 150 subscriber special. And just thank you so much for helping me get there. Please subscri consider subscribing and destroy the like button. Thank you for watching. See you later.